Hello YouTube. Today I'm going to show you how to build a vacuum tube Tesla coil. This is my secondary coil. You can copy this if you want to. Uh, it has about 750 turns of 28 gauge magnet wire wrapped around a 70 millimeter diameter acrylic pipe. This is the 3D printed attachment so the bolt can stay in the center and hold the top load right here. All right, I'm gonna show you how to wind the primary coil. It depends on your primary former diameter. This is a four inch diameter PVC pipe. Uh, it will vary, but for this four inch pipe, you're gonna need 50 feet of 14 gauge wire. And as you can see right here, I have some tape to hold the uh, first end of the wire onto the pipe. And then you're gonna wind from there 40 turns. Okay, so here is the completed coil. And to hold down the wires, I wrapped the ends in electrical tape and capped on tape. All right, next up is the feedback coil. I'm going to be using this 22 gauge magnet wire wrapped 12 turns at the bottom, same direction as the primary coil. Some designs have the feedback coil at the top, but I don't like this because it's more susceptible to the flashovers from the uh, feedback coil to the secondary and we don't want that all right so this is the finished product uh, i put some capped on tape over the windings right here at the bottom uh for further insulation i'm going to be putting on some more electrical tape this is looking pretty nice so far next up are the tank fasteners the entire thing measures to about 700 picofarads these two right here are a couple of 100 picofarad Soviet doorknob capacitors. These two are two magnetron capacitors. Together they measure up to about 500 picofarads. The entire thing is wired in parallel and this will be going in parallel with the primary coil right here. And sadly, either way, you're gonna to have to tune your circuit by adding or subtracting capacitors until you get the circuit perfectly in tune. It's never going to be perfect, but we will strive to get it very, very close. Here are the grid leak resistors. Now, in total, this measures to about 350 ohms. I know this is pretty low for a vacuum tube coil. It drives the tube very, very hard, but it does give me the best output. There's actually just a hot glue gun module added right here because I didn't have any more of these resistors. And this acts like a resistor too. It's also wired in parallel with these with these uh, 4.7 Ks. Uh, the capacitor back here measures to about three nanofarads. They are like MKP capacitor or something like that. Here's the GU81M. It's a pretty good tube and it gives you uh, up to about 750 watts of output power. Here is the RL choke. This is just a few turns of wire wrapped around a 68 ohm resistor. All right, this is the filament transformer down here. It is just a rewound microwave oven transformer. It gives out about 12.6 volts at 10 amps of current. And it goes into this box and wires up to this switch right here. Now the switch is to reroute the power either by going through this resistor or going directly to the tube. I am powering this device with my Variac here. Well, the Variac powers the microwave oven transformer here. And because it's really beefy, it gives me some extra power to play around with. Then the microwave oven transformer powers the voltage doubler here. And it has about three microfarads of capacitance. This is the microwave diode here, with along with the uh, one nanofarad uh, bypass capacitor. In most setups in the voltage doubler, uh, people chain together a bunch of smaller diodes, but I really don't see the difference in using this diode or a bunch of other diodes. It hasn't really affected performance either way. So I'm just using a regular microwave diode just because it's easier to put together. You can see this little blue thing is just a capacitor. It's a bypass capacitor so that all the high frequency power does not go back into your supply and into your house power. If you want the schematic for this, just stick around. I'm going to be showing you the schematic at the end of the video. All right, so you've waited long enough. I'm going to show you this thing powered up. I have to close the blinds. There we 
go. Here is the coolest part. I'm gonna power up the vacuum tube. Look at that glow. That's pretty cool. Okay. Okay, here we go. That's insane, dude. <laughs> awesome. All right, so that concludes my vacuum tube Tesla coal build. Uh, I promised you I would show you the schematic, and so here it is.